right. Mm. <laughs> Good. Mm. Damn. Now let's get started with preparing our chicken. I have wings, drums, and thighs. We're going to make sure the chicken is patted dry completely before we marinate the chicken. We're going to marinate this chicken two ways. We're going to marinate it in buttermilk, and then we're going to marinate some in mustard. So mustard fried versus buttermilk fried chicken. And look, if you see this excess skin on your chicken thighs, you do want to go ahead and cut that off because you do not want to have the skin burn too much because the excess skin will actually cook faster than the rest of the chicken and you do not want burnt pieces on your chicken, all right? So cut that piece off and make sure it looks nice and clean just like that. All right, now it's time to start marinating our chicken and we're going to start with the mustard first so we're going to do the mustard fried chicken first so the first thing you want to do you want to go ahead and even your pieces out whatever pieces you're cooking i'm using two of each two wings two drums and two thighs don't worry i will have all of the ingredients listed in the description for you to follow so i'm starting off with one tablespoon of smoked paprika smoked is better then we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of onion powder Then of course, go ahead and hit it with one tablespoon of garlic powder. And don't worry, again, I will have all of the ingredients in the description for you to follow. We want to add one teaspoon of red cayenne pepper. You can adjust all the seasonings to your liking, of course. One tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Remember, Cajun seasoning has salt, so be careful with that. One tablespoon of Senzone Complete. You want to go ahead and add that. And then one tablespoon of black pepper. This is going to be our dry mixture before we put in the mustard. Now, this is the part where you use your hand. Mix it well. Get into all of the corners, the crevices. Just make sure that the seasoning is evenly distributed amongst all of the chicken. Now, the star of the show two to three tablespoons of yellow mustard you can adjust it the yellow mustard is going to act as a binder for the chicken so no egg mix it well again two to three tablespoons you can adjust it to your liking but again this mustard is going to give it a nice tangy taste you're not really going to taste the mustard but it's also going to act as a binder so we can skip out on the egg when we're doing mustard fried chicken all right so make sure you mix everything completely well and look, it should look just like that. Look how seasoned that chicken is. It looks really, really good. Take your time with it. You want to make sure the seasoning and the mustard is evenly distributed, okay? And you want to marinate this for at least one hour. Um, you could go overnight with it, but one hour is fine. Now, let's move on to the buttermilk fried chicken. We're going to start off with two large eggs. You want the eggs to be room temperature. We don't want to utilize cold eggs. All right, so go ahead and whisk that together, basically like you're making scrambled eggs. All right, what you want to do first is go ahead and put your chicken inside of the egg mixture. No seasoning or anything just yet, but listen, put your egg and the chicken together just as you see on the screen this is going to help coat the chicken and allow the seasoning and everything to adhere to it all right again i will have all of the ingredients on the screen and in the description for you to follow one tablespoon of garlic powder then we're going to hit it with one tablespoon of onion powder and we just want to make sure everything is nice and evenly coated one teaspoon of red cayenne pepper and as always you can make this recipe your own you can take or add as you please then we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of cajun season remember the cajun seasoning has salt so you don't want too much of that a half tablespoon of ground mustard and then one tablespoon of italian seasoning you want to go ahead and add that in there then of course one tablespoon of smoked paprika just like that 
one teaspoon of black pepper you're going to go ahead and add that to the mixture and then one teaspoon of salt that's all you're going to need but remember the cajun seasoning has salt half a cup of good old hot sauce use whatever hot sauce you like whatever brand you like as well all right so a half a cup of hot sauce then yes a half cup of dill pickle juice is going to add a really nice note of flavor to this buttermilk fried chicken and the star of this particular chicken two cups of buttermilk you want to make sure the buttermilk completely covers the chicken you want to make sure you have enough to cover the chicken you want the chicken to be submerged in this buttermilk go ahead and mix it all together make sure you mix it very well you want all of the seasoning the buttermilk and everything else we put in there to get into every part of that chicken all right go ahead and marinate this for at least two hours or overnight okay overnight is best now let's work on our seasoned flour for our chicken okay this is going to be our seasoned flour seasoned is the key word three cups of all-purpose flour because we're doing a a few batches of chicken all right then we're going to season this flour with the same seasonings we use in the chicken so smoked paprika the cajun seasoning and again i will have all of the ingredients on the screen and in the description for you to follow now i did add one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning that is optional but it definitely adds another great note to the seasoning one tablespoon of garlic powder and again these are most of the seasonings that we use for the chicken except for the lemon pepper one tablespoon of onion powder then we're going to do one tablespoon of italian seasoning just like that and again we just want to make sure everything's in there we're going to add about a teaspoon or so of black pepper to that mixture and then we're going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of salt okay because again salt is an occasion season so we don't want the seasoned mixture to be too salty so go ahead and whisk that together you want to make sure everything is well combined now you could add a half cup of cornstarch completely optional if you want extra extra crispy fried chicken all right all right once the chicken is done marinating let the chicken sit at room temperature for 30 minutes you do not want to fry a cold chicken you do not want the outside to cook before the inside that's very important so what you want to go ahead and do this is the mustard fried chicken again just so you guys are following me i'm going to go ahead and coat the chicken with our seasoned flour we're going to make sure it's packed nicely we want to make sure it is completely covered with our seasoned flour so it can fry properly all right so i'm going to go ahead and uh, this looks like a dye so i'm working on my thighs right now to go ahead and um, season that <laughs> working on my thighs that's funny <laughs> yeah so go ahead and um, flour your chicken just as you see here again take your time with it and make sure that you coat all of the chicken front back side to side okay and then you want to go ahead and put that onto like a wire rack so any excess flour can fall off of the chicken all right now look at our perfectly battered mustard chicken now let's start with our buttermilk chicken so we're going to set up our dredging station so we're going to go ahead and take this seasoned buttermilk chicken that we let go overnight for two hours if you don't want to wait and we're going to go ahead and flour it up and we're going to batter this chicken and make sure that the flour is everywhere on this chicken so it's been marinating inside of that buttermilk bath that we made earlier so now we're just going to take our time and flour this chicken and again the seasoned flour is nicely done and again take your time with it and you may want to use two different hands one for wet one for dry so it doesn't clump up on your hands and there you have it simple just like that so we have our chicken coated look at that we're done so we're gonna go ahead and get this fried up and that's our battered buttermilk chicken that looks amazing now we're at the fun part we're going to start frying the chicken you want to heat your oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius I'm using peanut oil for this particular recipe so you can use vegetable or canola oil whatever floats your boat but I'm using peanut oil it's expensive but it fries the chicken perfectly I'm going to start with the chicken thighs the chicken thighs and the chicken drums 
fry around the same time 12 to 18 minutes for the chicken thighs and about 12 to 15 minutes for the actual chicken drums you can call them drums legs whatever you want to call them okay but again you don't want to overcrowd the pot and you want to fry for that time 12 to 15 or 12 to 18 all right now once it's done frying you're going to go ahead and pour it out and look at that chicken golden brown that looks amazing it looks really really good get your wire rack so that way the excess oil can drain off you do not want oily chicken and you want the skin to remain very crispy all right I recommend a meat thermometer because you do want to make sure the internal temperature of the chicken is at least 165 degrees or until the juices run clear on the chicken. All right, we want to make sure the chicken is completely done. Now we're going to fry our buttermilk marinated chicken starting with the thighs and the drums first because they take the longest to cook as stated before the chicken thighs take 12 to 18 minutes and the drums take about 12 to 15 minutes just keep an eye on it do not overcook the chicken but you also want to make sure the chicken is completely done so let's go ahead and check on it and look Whew, buttermilk chicken looks really really good you want to make sure the internal temperature of the chicken is 165 degrees no exceptions you want to make sure everything is completely done all right we do not want to eat raw chicken now we're going to fry the mustard wings i'm going to put those up at the top because i'm going to put the buttermilk towards the bottom so that way they can all fry at the same time chicken wings fry roughly seven to nine minutes and again the internal temperature needs to be at 165 for the chicken wings all right so listen I have the mustard to my left, look at that golden brown, and then I have the buttermilk to my right. Now the buttermilk came out a little darker than the mustard, um, buttermilk will turn your chicken a little darker, alright? But again, follow the times and you should be completely fine. This is the mustard fried wing you see here on the screen, golden brown, that thing looks amazing. Can't wait to try it. Then we have the buttermilk, alright? drain it on a wire rack so that way the skin can remain nice and crispy for you all right so go ahead and do that and there we have it we have our mustard fried chicken and then we have our buttermilk fried chicken that simple and easy so let's go ahead and give this a taste test listen east of tuan here got my microphone showing put that away but I want to taste some of this chicken. This chicken, look, I've been sleeping in the kitchen all day. Buttermilk, mustard fried chicken, so let's taste. Like, come on, let's get some. So this is going to be the buttermilk right here. So that I'm gonna have the buttermilk. Look, we cannot eat it without some what? Some good old Crystal's hot sauce, okay? I'm almost, I'm almost out of it. Put some on that, I'm gonna bite. Wow, that's good. The crunch, the skin. Oh my gosh, I love the skin on the chicken. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I get one more bite, and then I'm gonna go to the um, the mustard fry. But this is the buttermilk. Not bad. Not bad. Wow, this thing is good. So mustard fried chicken is here. All right, I'm going to have a wing. All right, put a little bit of hot sauce on that. Maybe a little squeeze of lemon as well. So go ahead and put that on there. Ooh, look at that, put that lemon on there. Okay. All right, so here we go. We have, ooh, we break it apart. Look at that. Okay, cheers. Right, look at that. That looks so good. Mm. Never talk with your mouth full, but listen, 
I have to tell you, this is amazing. Do I want buttermilk or mustard fried chicken? I, I'll let you guys decide, but I'm going to have another bite of this. Man, oh man. This is really good. It's really good. I will say mustard fried chicken is probably quicker. I will give you that. Buttermilk is longer as far as the marinating time because you will have to marinate the buttermilk for at least two hours to overnight so everything can kind of soak up. Mustard fried chicken, again, is going to be quick. It's not something that you're going to need to let marinate for a long time. You can just stick it in the fridge, get everything else together. But um, So I'd say if you want a time crunch, go ahead with the mustard. Um, but if you got some time to work with, go ahead and whip up that buttermilk. <laughs> Listen, make sure you eat all the meat off of your bones. You hear me? But this has been Ace with Twan. And guess what? I'm going to catch you guys in the next episode. I'm going to finish eating this chicken. Buttermilk versus mustard fried chicken. This is a winner. I'll see you guys next time.